Hello, welcome to ingvid.com, not ingwid. Today, I'm going to teach you the difference in pronunciation between a V and a W. That's U times two. In some parts of America, I don't know which parts, which states, I know people say W. We don't actually say W in Canada. It's W versus the V. Now, this goes out to all of my friends who speak Chinese, Farsi, Arabic, um, German, Polish, Slovak, Czech, Slovenian, Russian, Ukrainian. As far as I understand, all of these languages have problems with the V and the W. W, the W. Let me help you out. <clears throat> the easiest way to get this down straight is when you say the V sound, you got to stick out your two front teeth. Go. V. 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 Number one rule. When you want to say the V sound, you have to stick your big front teeth out of your mouth over your bottom lip. V. Your bottom lip is going to make the air come out and it's going to make the sound of V. If you look at this word, <clears throat> it's visor. Visor. You always need to put your teeth out like a beaver. The other letter is W. When we actually make the W sound, you're going to make like you're going to kiss someone. Wah, wah, wah. As you can see, V, wah, your mouth does a completely different thing with the two sounds. V, wah, wah. So let's try, let's practice, first of all, making the V uh, sounds with some words. The first one is visor, visor. Visor is the top part of a baseball cap that keeps the sun out of your eyes. <clears throat> the next word we have is veil. A veil can be worn at a wedding. It covers the bride's face. And in many countries around the world, women wear veils to hide their beautiful eyes. So veil is a face covering. Veil. The next word is a vest. Vest. Vest is usually an article of clothing worn by a man. Women can wear a vest as well. And it's part of a three-piece suit. You have a tie, a shirt, a vest, and an over or a suit jacket. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to draw a vest. It's gonna be funny looking. Dun, 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 dun. Doop, doop, doop. Um, if you guys have ever seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, I think the Oompa Loompas wear a vest. And then you would have your shirt here. So the vest is basically like a jacket with no arms. <laughs> vest. The next one is a kind of car, a very fast car, and also a snake. This is a viper. Viper. And the last V sound for you today is verse. Verse. Verse we use in uh, writing songs or poetry, and it's a stanza of music or words that's broken down into different parts of the song. Verse, viper, vest, veil, visor. Now, hold on, we're gonna go into the W, W, the W sound. Um, <clears throat> as I told you, when, to, when you say the W sound, you're gonna make like you're going to kiss someone. So, Ronnie is going to pretend she knows how to draw. Ooh, these are lips and they're going, Whoa. they're blowing you kisses or basils. The first W word is wiser, wiser. The next one is 
whale. Whale. Oh, Ronnie, what's a whale? Oh, a whale is <clears throat> an animal, a really, really big animal. Is it a fish? Is it an animal? I don't know. That lives in the ocean. <laughs> and they like to eat peanuts. What? Yeah. Um, wiser means someone is smarter than you. Maybe you are smarter than me because you know that whales don't eat peanuts at all. The next one is west. West. West is a direction. We have north, south, oh, I hope I get this right, east and west. This guy right here is west. If you are the fan of a band called The Clash, my favorite band ever, they have a song that's called Gates of the West. You don't want to make a mistake and say Gates of the Vest because people think, what? Okay, so you have a vest and then a gate, Gates of the Vest. Oh, I don't get it. So the song is Gates of the West. Um, <clears throat> the next word is wiper. Wiper. A wiper you have, if you have a car, I hope you need them. They are on your windshield and they go wicky, 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 wiper. They help to clear the rain or the other dead animals that fall onto your car off of your windshield so you can see when you're driving. And the last word is worse. Worse means bad. So, worse. Now is the fun part, the exciting part, the challenging part. We have to contrast the V and the W with these words together. Blah, 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 blah. Ready? Visor, wiser. Now be careful. Mm, mm. Give it a try. Visor, wiser. Visor, wiser. Okay, the next one. Veil, veil, whale, whale, veil, whale. Vest, vest, west, west. Viper, viper, wiper. Viper, wiper. You ready? Are you ready for the last one? Second, third, last one. Verse, worse. Verse, worse. Do you think that you can do this well now? I hope so. We're going to go for two more words, and this is a little bit more difficult because, because, the V and the W are in the middle of the word. Uh, don't worry about it, you can do it. So, remember what I taught you about the and the. So when we say this word, you gotta get your kiss ready. And this one, you gotta get your beaver teeth out. You gotta stick your teeth right out. So this word is rowing, rowing. Row, row, row your boat, gently dance stream. Okay. And the other word is roving, roving. Hmm. Do you know what roving means? It's another word to wander about aimlessly. I'm going to rove through the mountains. I'm going to rove through the forest. It's a beautiful green forest with lots of trees. Rowing, roving. So in the middle of the word, you have to be careful and make sure that your mouth is doing the correct position so that you're making the right sounds. The last one <clears throat> is grew, grew. Grew is the past tense of grow, which means if you plant a plant, <gasps> plant a plant, and you give it water and love, it's going to grow and become bigger. There's other things that grow and become bigger if you give it a kiss. 
this. Uh, the last word is groove. 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 This one's difficult because you're going to do the ooh sound like this, but at the end, you got to get out your beaver teeth. So it's groove. 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 Groove means to dance. Yeah, groove it. In the 1960s, it was really cool to say groovy, dude. Good thing we're not living in the 1960s. Today, we have practiced the v -v 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 versus the m -m -v 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 sounds. If you have questions and would like to see more videos, go to ingvid.com. Come to YouTube. Come over to the dark side. Join my channel. Goodbye.